Hello, ladies, and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So I thought I'd do something I've been promising to do for a while, which is an eyebrow tutorial um, on just older women filling in their eyebrows. There's lots of questions around this subject. Um, how do I make them look natural? Do I use a pencil? Do I use eyeshadow? Do I get them colored? These are all really relevant, great questions. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how um, the suggestions I have around how to take care of your eyebrows. Um, before we get started, please visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com and use the code SP10 for 10% off everything on my website. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off with, we have to know what we're drinking today. So today for me, it is coffee. Today I'm doing coffee. Um, normally I do tea. I'm a big tea drinker. I love tea. For those of you who watch me regularly, um, Really, really love tea, and I appreciate all of you who get your cup of tea and join me on my videos. <laughs> so let's take a sip. Okay, so eyebrows. What do you do about eyebrows? Now, I know I'm blessed with really nice, thick eyebrows, and I, I get that. So all of you who are going to go, yeah, but you have thick eyebrows, um, I get it. Um, but mine also are starting to thin. They're also starting to gray. All those things are happening. So I am doing certain things to maintain the shape and to have them stay thick. Some of you have lost your eyebrows completely or they're, they're, they're gray, they're hard to see. What colors do you use? So that's what we're going to address today. Okay, so to start off with, um, it's important to have a really good eyebrow shape. Um, so the shape of your eyebrows really needs to start here. Then it ends here, right? So it needs to be extended. So you might need a little extension. And from your eye, your iris of your eye straight up, that's where that little peak comes. Now, this can also be very um, uh, regional. So, for example, when I was in um, uh, Florida recently, I noticed they had their own way of doing their eyebrows. It was much sharper of an edge right here. Um, California has their own way. I was there recently, too. So, I mean, there's lots of different ways to do your eyebrows. So I think go with what feels good for you, what's maybe appropriate for the region that you live in. Or maybe you're in Canada, I have a lot of Canadian viewers and British viewers. So just whatever um, you, whatever shape kind of suits your environment. I'm not going to dictate shape, but I do think there are some very basic, like this is sort of the basic idea. Okay. So the second thing I would say is, should you color your eyebrow? Um, if you've let your hair go gray, I would say let your eyebrows go gray too. And then if you need to fill them in with either a blue-gray color or a blonde, and really that depends on the predominant color in your head, on your head, and then also in your eyebrow. I mean, I made up a woman recently who was um, had gray hair, silver hair, um, and her eyebrows were blonde, were still blonde. So I filled them in with blonde. Does that make sense? And I also made up someone on this channel, Dustin, watch that video because her eyebrows are more of like a gray blonde. So I think I blended the two colors. So, you know, kind of go, that's how you think about it, okay? Um, I obviously color my hair. I'm about 60% gray, um, but I am lightening it. I'm starting to go a little bit uh, lighter with it so that the gray doesn't jump out quite so badly. I used to have it quite dark. Um, so what that means is I've started to sort of lighten my eyebrows. Now, what I do is because I'm licensed, I color my own hair. Uh, many of you can't do that, but I take my hair color and I just put a little bit of it through my eyebrow five minutes before I wash it out. Um, I would ask your hairdresser to do that for you if you get your hair colored. Um, it's, you know, it's easy. They just kind of comb it in and then they just wipe it out. They leave it on for maybe five minutes. Super simple. Um, if you don't want to do that, that's fine, but that is kind of a cool strategy. Um, okay, so let's move into filling in your eyebrows. Um, there's different techniques you can use. So you can use a pencil. This is my Jane Iredell eyebrow pencil. You can also use eyeshadow, which is something that I do quite a lot, and this is my eyeshadow brush. Um, so what you want to do with either one of these is to get a color that matches um, your either your hair or your eyebrow color. Um, those should actually be pretty in close proximity, okay? Um, but if you have like, if you're sort of having fun and you've got maybe bright red hair, um, you know, you might want to keep your eyebrows more of a brown so that it's not like this red and red, like it tends to be too much. So some of this is sort of creative, like what's really going to look appropriate on you. Um, so that's hard to say unless I saw you, right? But I would say stick with, try to stick with mostly your natural eyebrow color as much as possible. Um, so those are the two I'm going to go after, I'm going to talk about today, go after. Um, there also are some liquid sort of brushes you can buy that kind of comb in the eyebrow and give it more of a sharper look because it's actually kind of a gel or a liquid. Um, I'm not a fan of those for older women because they don't blend. Um, I like on older women for things to look really blended. 
really soft. Um, I don't like that kind of sharp, sharp look to anything on your face. Okay. I mean, I have very, very little makeup on right now because I'm, you know, this is my everyday look. I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Um, so, um, so I would say, you know, and with eyeliner, with anything, lip liner, everything should be sort of diffused as you get older. So that's why I'm not a fan of those. And I'm just going to sh show um, these two. Okay. Okay. So filling in your eyebrows, I'm going to take, start with the pencil here with the Jane Iredale. Um, this is the brunette eyebrow pencil. It also comes with a little doily. I don't even know what these are called. <laughs> little spoonal, spoodle, spoonal. Do you know what this is called? You can write it down below. I don't know. A little round, little round jobby with stuff on it. All right. So I'm going to use this. Um, and this is great because you can kind of comb, see, you know, what direction your eyebrows should go. Now, I don't trim my eyebrows. So if you took my eyebrows and brushed them all up, you'd see, you know, I got some long pieces. I don't because I actually want the thickness. I don't want them super chiseled because I feel like I have a pretty angular face and I don't want anything super angular. Uh, I want everything very soft, right? So that's why I don't do that. Um, if you like to do that and you have long fuzzy eyebrows like I do, then by all means, but that's just not what I do. So I'm going to take my pencil <clears throat> and I'm going to follow the uppermost line of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to bring it together at the bottom and I'm going to extend it out. This is a slightly warmer color than my natural eyebrows here. My eyebrows are colored though. And then I kind of gently fill it in, just using small strokes. I'm not giving this a real sharp, you know, shape, okay? Then I take this and just kind of blend everything together. This helps to blend it. You can also use your finger just to soften down that edge. See how that worked? And you can sharpen up some of the upper edges if you want to. Again, I'm not a fan of that. You know, I don't tend to do that. Really what I'm making sharper is this right here, right? Because I think that's attractive, but I don't want this sharp. I want this to be much more loose, kind of how it is. And I have a lot of holes in here, okay? I mean, I could really go crazy and fill it in, but I think on older women, it just looks, it looks a little weird, but, you know, maybe for you, you like that and you want to do that, that's fine, go for it. But for me, um, I mean, I have to put people in front of a camera, so they need to look really, really kind of normal and universally attractive, right? So that's why I don't do that. Um, but I think that looks great. Like I'm happy with that. I think the pencil works really well. Um, you know, this pencil is also doesn't run like if it gets wet, it's not going to run off. So I love that. Okay, so let's do this one. So this one, same idea, I can use my little spoolie if I want to, to kind of brush it up a little bit just to get the angle right. I'm going to use a slanted brush. This is Mac, it's a little bit tortured here. Um, and I'm going to use this color here in this palette, in this Jane Iredale eyebrow uh, palette. It's, this is daytime. It's not an eyebrow palette. It's just a regular palette. And I'm going to use that color. I mean, you can go get an eyebrow, you know, specific for eyebrows. Um, if you're going to use shadow, really, you just use a shadow, right? You don't need like a special kit. And I do basically the same thing, but I do it with shadow. So I'm warming up my eyebrow a little bit with this color because it's slightly warmer, just like the pencil. Because I've got these warm kind of highlights, blondie highlights. Very lightly fill it in every place else. Again, I do the top line, bring it down, connect it. And that's about it. I like, I think what I like is this, this shape right here. And then if you want to take a little highlight, I just took it from this palette right here. I've got a, on all the AJ and Iredell palettes, they have the lovely, um, little highlight right there. Isn't that pretty? And if you have a nice brow bone, I would say go for it, right? You can also take that little highlight and dab a little bit right in there. Why not? I'm a girl. I like a little glitter in my life. Makes me happy. So that is my basic eyebrow tutorial. Um, eyebrows, the number one thing you can do to change your face is eyebrows, is to to fill in your eyebrows. Um, it is so important because it balances your face. I probably should have said this at the start of the video, but it balances your face out. Um, it adds um, some dimension because our t faces tend to get flat, 
right? As we get older and especially with different lighting, we can look very wool. So this is one way to pop your face a little bit, along with you doing a little bit of contour, um, adding a little color. Um, I think color is one of the most important things as you get older as well, to not go with all the, you know, bland brown you know like really get some color on your lips on your cheeks especially um, because that's really going to pop your face but eyebrows is the number one thing in my opinion that changes your entire face so i hope this has been helpful please subscribe down below um, also please comment love to hear from you visit me at my website at thebeautyshaman.com um, and you can shop for some of these um, i don't carry the eyebrow pencil this is you have to go to jane Ardell, but i will put the links down below um, you can get the daytime palette um, on there and all the makeup I have on I'll put down below um, again thank you for watching really glad you're here so have an awesome day and enjoy your eyebrows